a welcome back to my channel so I know I look really 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 raggedy right now but that's okay because I'm here to bring you a uh, like a hair video sort of kind of we're gonna be getting into that so basically my husband has challenged me to do a one-year hair journey um, with that includes no heat like no heat I mean like no flat iron no blow dryer no dragons like no heat none of that and I want to show you some of the products that I'm gonna be using and just talk about what I hope to gain from this and I'm gonna throw in some pictures of where I'm at right now and my current length right now too so let me start by taking my scarf off so this is what I'm gonna be using look at look at my twist I'm gonna explain that shit too but so this is my scarf it's a silk scarf and I'm just gonna be using this to wrap my hair up every night I don't know if I'm gonna buy a silk pillowcase because I don't want to be slipping and sliding all over the place but yeah um, so I put my hair in twists now I've been having issues with my twist outs since I I've only been doing this it's been <clears throat> since last Wednesday and it's currently Tuesday um, so that's been almost a week and I had some heat damage I cut out quite a bit not I won't say like a whole lot but it was at least a handful of hair I cut out um, I still have a little bit of heat damage left but it's in spots that I'm like not really willing to like risk cutting right now because I will look a hot mess um, so I've noticed that my twists aren't as plump and full as they were before and the thing is like when I flat ironed my hair it wasn't even like flat ironing it continuously every day I in the past few months I flat ironed my hair like once every two weeks for the last like three or four months which I guess when you really think about it that is a lot that's at least twice a month but then again it's not and then if I did put the, the flat iron on it in between it was just like a touch up it wasn't like a full-on going through and straightening it over again because most of the time even when it was straight like I literally didn't brush my hair I don't brush my hair I don't do nothing to my hair that's part of the reason I was flat ironing it is because I like to be lazy and not have to do anything to my hair so like I said I've noticed that when I do my twists like if I lay on them they don't look as good the ends don't look as good as they were before but you know what I mean it's a journey and like this side is just horrible look at this like it's it's terrible but it's a journey and I'm working on it and I will get there so I laid my edges down because I feel like yeah these edges is laid laid and slay boo I feel like you know if I'm gonna wear my hair in a protective style which is what I want to do especially because it's um, the winter then I definitely want to make sure that my edges are laid down so the areas that I cut and if I, I'm looking over here because there's a mirror over here but the areas that I cut are right up here I had heat damage really bad um, I wouldn't say it was really bad because I think a lot of people like the front of your hair is always a lot um, finer and straighter it's gonna be a little bit more straighter and like fuzzier in the front than it is in the back especially if you pull your hair back a lot which when I was flat ironing it and blow drying it I always pull my hair back like that's just my thing um, so it was kind of straight so I just went ahead and cut it out so like right around my edges it's like it's like this because I just went ahead and cut all that off so we can start all over both my sides which I have you can kind of tell I have my sides like really um, I use my edge control on my mousse um, like I would say a good portion of it like this I just snipped I snipped it off so it's probably about this long right now and then right up underneath here here's a little piece of it but I have it mainly in the twists already um, I cut back here because it was really straight because this hair I would say like from here down is a lot finer than the rest of my hair um, and then on this side too the middle of my hair is really coarse and thick um, so the curls stayed like they didn't get affected or anything like that I didn't have any problem with that but it was mainly around my perimeter where my hair is a lot finer so um, basically I, I feel like what I want out of this is to just be like I want to of course I want to have more healthy hair I feel like my hair isn't unhealthy or anything but it did suffer a little bit I want to actually learn how to appreciate my hair and like really get it into good condition because I do have dry hair right now um, I'm not really into that whole like hair types like 4C 4A 3B all that so I don't really know what my hair type is I don't really care I just know that I have hair and it needs to be taken care of and that's really my only concern um, I don't know if my hair is high porosity or low porosity I would assume that it's um, like high 
think high porosity I would maybe low I don't know I, I know that it's dry as fuck <laughs> So, if anybody, you know, can take that description and tell me what that means, then, you know, put it in the comment box, because I, I don't know. Um, it needs a lot of moisture. I have to constantly moisturize my hair, um, sometimes, you know, multiple times a day. Like, if I'm gonna go out and wear it, you know, eat, you know, in, in the hairstyle I have it in, I need to spritz it with some oil again, just to keep it, um moisturize my hair has always been like that I can remember back in the day when I used to use hair grease my mom used to do my hair and as soon as she would put some grease on my scalp or in my hair it would just suck it up like because it needs a lot of moisture constantly so you know that's what I'm working with um but anyways I of course I want to be able to retain length I definitely want my hair to grow right now I would say it's about um maybe I don't want to say bra strap length because it kind of just depends on where your bra strap like rests. I know it's down. It's I, I'm going to put the picture in. It's like to my shoulder blades, maybe to the top of my bra strap. So it's pretty good length right now. But I want it to be a lot fuller because I feel like when I flat iron it, it definitely looks really thin. And it's like when I flat iron it, <coughs> when I flat iron it, it's thin. But when I, you know, have it like natural, it's really thick and coarse. So... I don't know like what's going on it's just like it's it's a it's a illusion or something so I definitely want to have length want it to get thicker be healthier and I want my curls to pop like the curls in the back they look pretty good but I want to be able to like wear it out all over and it just look really good I like that high shine to it nice and soft you know the texture is fine I'm not mad at the texture at all because I love the texture of my hair but I really I just want it to just look great you know what I mean I know everybody's gonna have good and bad hair days I'm not expecting for it to be bomb as hell every day but I want it to look good you know um so anyways moving on more on some of the products that I'm using they're not mine these are my daughters so I use the um <clears throat> Cantu line of products I think I have pretty much everything in their line except for like two or three things um I have most of all the products here. There are there's like one jar that I don't have because it's in the room with my kid and she's napping and I'm not going in there messing with that beast. So, um, and then there are a few other things that I use outside of these products. So first, I'm gonna start off with the um, Cantu for natural hair wave whip curling mousse. This is it right here. This stuff is gold, like girl, girl. These edges look permed, hunty, and they're not. Okay, so I pair this with the um, extra edge control gel that they have. This is like the only edge control gel that I actually like. I, before I use this, I hated edge control. Like my edges was looking nappy and wild, and I was fine with that because I refused to use edge control because every time I would use it, like I use the olive oil um, brand, there was another brand I used and it would itch and I was like I don't know why like why I don't know if I was allergic to it I don't know what the deal was but it was like I'm like no my edges is just gonna be looking free uh, because I'm not using this so this is what this looks like right here just your typical edge control it smells really good kind of smells coconutty um, and it's really soft it goes on so well like it definitely goes on tacky but like when you rub it in it smooths out really easy and then I just put that I put the edge control on first and then I followed up with the mousse and then I put my little scarf on to lay my edges so this stuff works well I also use this um, whenever I want to like bring my curls back to life if I sleep on them they look terrible all I gotta do is get up I have my little spray bottle full of water I spritz my hair and then I put this on that and I just rub it through and it brings my curls back like it's nothing. So the next thing that I use, I just got this. This is the Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. Now I don't just use this for my twists, I use it for my curls as well. Works very good. Um, the smell is very subtle. It also has a coconut smell. I think that's just, there's like hair in here. I think that's just their uh, signature is the coconut smell because most of their products smell that way. Um, if I can get all the hair, I can show you what it looks like because this looks gross. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of in between almost like a grease, a gel, and like a mousse. It has that like a cream. It has like a all three of those properties, if that makes sense. But it works really well for my edges too, so I'll put a little bit of that on there. It's good for taking away the frizz out of your hair. 
and it's really good for moisturizing and leaving your um, like twists or braid outs looking really good. So, so far so good. I really like it. I'll definitely do an update on the newer products that I have that I haven't been using too long. Um, the next thing that I have is the deep treatment mask. This stuff right here, yes it was bomb so how I use it is I take it and this is what it looks like it's very very thick so a little bit goes a long way so I section my hair into four down the middle and then on the sides like this I twist them out and then I um, take each sec I can't talk today I take each section spritz my hair with water and I rub this through my hair really really good get it all um, in there rub my scalp really good and then I twist it back up I take a hot rag so I just uh, soak it in water put it in the microwave heat it up put it on my hair and then I'll put like a Walmart bag over it and tie it up so the um, steam stays in there so I steam kind of like steam moisturize my hair and that with this it works so well I love this um, don't worry also I'll talk about the prices of everything after I'm done um, so we talked about this already so the next thing that I have is the coconut oil shine and hold mist this stuff works really well it's not like a it says shine and hold. It's not like something that's gonna make your hair hard or like hold it into place like that. I think they more so just mean like it locks in the moisture because it is very moisturizing. It smells really good, coconutty. Um, and I just use this as an after spray. I spray it on like after I'm done with whatever else. I, oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> I spray it on after any hairstyle like when I get done I just spritz 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 and it's good to go I also use this on my daughter's hair she is biracial if you don't know and so her hair texture is a lot um, different it's a lot her curls are really tight but they're still looser her texture is different from mine and it works on her hair very well too so I love this stuff um, and you don't really need a whole lot what I do because the when it sprays out the stream it's just a straight shot it's not like a mist so I spray it in my hand rub it and then I just go over my hair like that with it and it works just fine um, the next thing that I have I have not used this yet but I'm very intrigued by it and I'm, I'm hoping that it's gonna work very well it's the apple cider vinegar root relief and it has peppermint oil in it as well so it's basically it's almost like a dry shampoo but not a dry shampoo because it's a cream and so it says it soothes itching and irritation and it refreshes scalp without washing or um you know like using water um and it's great for weaves braids locks and extensions so it is a um multi-use item and i like that about it and um it does have a vinegary smell but i mean it has apple cider vinegar in it so of course it's gonna you know smell like that but um, I do have a problem with my hair, my scalp itching, like right now, especially if I go, I mean, I'm looking at three days, maybe four days with using product in my hair. Because like if I'm going to keep up with my hair, I have to use product every day. Like I'm not one of those people who can just wake up and go. I, I can't. So my scalp gets really itchy because it's my skin is sensitive in general. So I got this because I'm hoping it's going to help alleviate some of that. Um, and I can kind of show you so it's like a nozzle so you can just kind of run it through your hair um, and it's actually you can kind of see it a little bit it's kind of clear it's almost it's like a gel it's very cool I like that and then it kind of turns watery on your hand so it's not gonna be something that's like a cream and it's not gonna leave like a residue or at least a visible residue that you can you know that everybody else can see so the next thing I have used this and I love it this goes with the um, the root relief this is a root rinse and it's also apple, apple cider vinegar and it has tea tree oil in it and it said it's a gentle scalp detox it deeply cleanses scalp without stripping strands great for weaves braids locks and extensions so on the back it actually tells you that this is a really good product to use in conjunction with the root relief so you would basically use this first and then follow it up with this I use this first just by itself because I wanted to see what it did and it is like the best thing ever it left my scalp feeling so cool and like just relieved like it it honestly felt like I had washed my hair so I love this stuff so far um, it's the same concept it has the little nozzle on it this is liquid so I would suggest doing it when your hair is like fully out and big so it doesn't just run off you know out of your hair it can definitely get in and soak in and I just just put it through like that 
um, scrub my scalp with my hands and it was good to go and it worked so I love the way that it felt and I know you guys are probably like well she's saying that everything is good like I'm I'm telling you everything so far <coughs> that I've used from this line is amazing um, what I don't have shown here is the uh, shampoo and conditioner that they have for natural hair that girl and guy it is bomb the conditioner like because it got to the point when I, you know, when I was flat ironing my hair that I would put shampoo in it and wash it and it would still be straight. So as soon as I put the conditioner in it and left it on for like five minutes, my curls would come back and pop. Like they look so good. And it honestly detangles my hair. Like I can run my fingers through it while I'm in the shower without having to use like a Denman brush or just a regular brush to brush through it. Um, so I love that because it doesn't make me have to like use a brush so I'm not losing hair as I'm going through it. I can definitely appreciate that. It works very well on my daughter's hair too. Um, so I use that on her hair occasionally and my husband actually uses it sometimes too. So, um, And then so the other thing that I don't have shown here is the um, curling custard. Um, it's like a glaze and it's a like a gel glaze kind of feel has a coconut smell and it is um, it works very well too it leaves your hair very moisturized and shiny I think um, the twist and lock gel and the coconut um, curling custard are kind of they could kind of be one in the same but I feel like it's it's just what your preference is of using it like neither one of them are heavy they're both feeling lightweight they don't leave your hair like weighed down your hair can still move so it's kind of just what do you want to use that day what you know what I mean so I got both of them just because I like them um, my friend turned me on to it and she actually turned me on to the whole Cantu line she's natural as well so um, it's kind of just your preference you don't have to buy both of them but if you want to you know feel free um, to do so so yeah that's that what else did I use um, with my products I have the uh, mimosa hair honey by Carol's daughter this is just a sample and literally like I've had this for a year and there's still so much in there a little bit goes a long way I actually was using this to flatter in my hair as well but it works really well when you're putting a twist out in or you're taking it down and you want to oil your fingers to get your hair moisturized while you take why why while you're taking it down and then the last two products that I use this is the um, second day hairspray. I'm almost out of this. Um, this is by a company that I ordered offline that I will never order from again because their customer service is horrible. Sorry, I just have to put that out there. Feel free to order from them if you want. If you want to, I will not be putting any of their information in the description box. But I do want to be open and honest with the products that I use on my hair. Um, so this is Kapuaku. Um, it has like kapuku butter in it, coconut oil, olive oil, macadamia oil, herbal infusion with hibiscus vegetable derived emulsifier, conditioning properties, and fragrance. This works very well for um, if you want to bring back a twist out or if you want to bring your curls back to life. So I spritz this on and it's really, really moisturizing. So I do like it. I definitely wish that their company was a lot better because I would order from them again. But, you know, it is what it is. And then they also have um, a thing called Just Water. This has um, aloe vera in it. Aloe vera juice is really good for balancing the pH out in your hair and helping bring it back to life as well. So I use this and I'm pretty sure this is my last bottle of this too. So to make up for these whenever I am done using these and they're all out, um, Cantu has a second day hairspray of their own. So I definitely plan on getting my hands on that and trying it and seeing how I like it. Um, I was honestly kind of toying with the idea of making my own like second day hairspray or just water hairspray just because I'm like I know you know a lot of the ingredients that they're using it's not hard to make it but I'm kind of lazy so I'm just like why I could just go buy it you know so that's the products that I use um and I literally have been using every single one of these products like it's not a oh well she just picks and chooses and uses one no like I've been using all of these products every day and it's a task like this this journey is going is my thing okay this journey is gonna be like a task and a half for me because I'm so lazy like it's ridiculous how lazy I am I never want to do my hair it looks like a hot mess all the time and if I'm gonna really do this I have to put the time and the effort into doing my hair like I, there's no way around it 
Um, so I'm gonna be doing updates. I would say for now I'm just gonna do monthly updates and then we'll see as it goes along but I'm gonna talk about my goals and stuff I might even start doing videos of me doing my hair I've like never really done that before but I'm kind of like I'm I kind of I'm kind of into it so I feel like my channel and my content will be shifting a little bit over the next couple of months so now let's real quick talk about prices um, I don't have um, like definitive prices because I don't know where my receipt is but all of these products that I got are no more than um, six bucks so for all these this good amount of products so in the mask there's 12 ounces that's a pretty hefty jar in the um, the moisturizing twist and lock gel is also 12 ounces the mousse, I want to say this wasn't more than five bucks. There's 8.4 ounces in here. In the um, apple cider root rinse, there's 12 ounces. The coconut oil shine and hold mist is eight ounces. And the um, edge control, I'm pretty sure this one was like three or four dollars. This is 2.25 ounces. And the root relief, <clears throat> is eight ounces so you get quite a bit of product for a good price uh, I really think that they're very affordable compared to like Shea Moisture, Carol's Daughter um, what's the other one um, there's another one there's it's like Curl something um, I can't remember but compared to some of the other like leading um, brands that you can find you know in your beauty supply stores or on the ethnic aisle in a drugstore this is definitely a more affordable brand and it's not like Sheen you know the Sheen brand or like olive oil or anything like that it's not like cheap feeling I'm sorry but y'all know that little Sheen shit that our mom just put on our hair mm -mm, no ma'am and then um, so this hair honey mimosa by Carol's daughter like I said it's a sample that they sell at least at my Walmart on the ethnic aisle and it was two dollars for I don't know how many ounces? Two ounces. But like I said, a little bit goes a long way. You can be like Mr. Big Pockets and go get the big jar that's like 12 ounces, but that shit is like $15 and uh, homie don't play that. So now um, to do some of my hairstyles, I also got like some bobby pins. I got some of these little, um, I don't know what they're called, curling rods or something like that. Some of these to like do the front of my hair because like I said, it doesn't hold a curl more like the back does. Um, I have my scarves, I have uh, like a ton of scarves. I have a turban that I'll be wearing. I've never worn a turban before, so I'm pretty excited to do that. I might have to wear that and do like a makeup look with it one day. Um, I got quite a bit of different stuff. I got like the little thing that I can wear my hair up in a pineapple. That was cute, I did that one day. Uh, I might throw in a picture of that. All the pictures are gonna be at the end of the video. Um, I don't know, it's just gonna be all about me working with my hair doing different hairstyles and lots of protective styles because I definitely think that my hair grows better and it, you know, retains its length better when I just leave it alone. So protective styles are definitely going to be my thing for the most part and lots of wraps. So if y'all have any suggestions on where I can get wraps from, my cousin has already told me about one company that I'm definitely going to check out. It's called The Wrap Life. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. Like, I see people doing journeys and stuff all the time and I was like I've never like really been interested in doing that but since this like I'm pretty excited I know that there's gonna be some days where I want to cut it all off like just the other day I was ready to just you know be done because it was just too much to deal with but I'm I'm really pumped I'm really motivated and I'm excited and I'm excited for any feedback that I get from you guys any tips and when I start doing some hair videos just let me know what you guys want to see what you like you know and we'll go from there so I hope you guys enjoyed my long ass video today because it is long and I know it is but it is what it is so yeah that's it thanks for watching this video with me looking all raggedy and whatnot appreciate y'all don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video